Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. Today I will share this good news with you. I got my Georgian residence permit and I'm going to show it to you closer just in a second. So in this video I want to share the whole process of getting it and what benefits it gives to me. Let's begin. So I learned that I was approved to get this permit about some time ago. So when I posted this uh, to my Instagram after finally getting the ID card, I got a lot of uh, encouraging messages where people congratulated me on that. And honestly, I didn't even feel the same. So I took it for granted because I'm already used to this thought. And it's interesting that when I got replies from foreigners, I was like, oh, yeah, thank you. But maybe someone thinks that it is something that gives me the opportunity to not use my Russian passport. But no, I'm still a citizen of Russian Federation. But when I got messages from the guys from Russia or Belarus who also live here in Georgia as immigrants or expats, I kind of returned back to reality, reminding myself that actually I should be happy about this. Because in fact, it is really hard to get this uh, permit for Russian citizens. So when I was applying, I was worried that um, what if I will not be approved? There was a high chance of this. So anyway, now I want to share the whole process, how I applied for this. I actually used the services of a lawyer. It is quite easy to do it all yourself, but I decided to save my nerves and time and just paid to a person. So I sent all the needed documents to them and we went together to the Georgian House of Justice to apply for this. And I could choose when I want to get the response, either as soon as possible, after 10 days or 15 days or a month. So I decided that I'm not in a hurry, I will wait for a month. And that was cheaper for me. Then after one month, I went to a special website, checked it, got the approval. So I went there for the second time. And after several days, I went to the House of Justice by myself just to pick up this card. And yeah, finally, I will show this to you. I hid all the data so that you don't take a loan on my name. But here it is. My name is written in Georgian and English. And I want to devote a part of this video to the House of Justice itself, the building. When I enter it, it feels that I am in the Ministry of Magic. If you watched Harry Potter and uh, Order of Phoenix, you will understand me. Like the architecture of this building is so amazing and it is very convenient. There is a front desk where they will assist you. And I just like this building. I always enjoy when I come there. And actually they gave me an envelope with different papers. And what I got was this thing. And I first thought that this is a sticker and I was like, oh, wow. Wow, I can put it on my laptop. The House of Justice is so modern. But then I realized that it is actually, it's like a little case for the residence permit so that, I don't know. Yeah, it's important to keep this chip safe. So it's like this. It's in the case. But I still wish this was a sticker. And now I will tell you how you can get the residence permit of Georgia. First, you can apply if you have an apartment or a house here, which costs more than $100. Then also you can apply if you invested some particular amount of money into the local economy or businesses. Then there is a residence permit for people who study in Georgian schools or universities. And there are people who moved here from Russia and their kids went to Georgian schools, got their residence permit and their parents also got it because they are their parents, but sometimes they don't manage to get the residence permit because, well, because they're just not uh, approved. We don't know why. You can apply for the permit if your spouse yeah. have one. And uh, another thing, if you work here, that's how I did because I have like a small business in Georgia, my YouTube channel, I pay taxes, all that stuff, which takes me to explaining why many Russians actually don't need the residence permit in Georgia. The thing is that firstly, we have the opportunity to stay in Georgia up to one year, 
buy a tourist visa as Russian citizens, and then people make visa run, they just go to another country for one day and then return back, if they are allowed to enter the country, and I will talk about this in a second. And now I want to talk about benefits that this permit gives, and the first one is that we, Russian citizens, now can register on online platforms such as Vice, PayPal and so on, because it's impossible to register with the Russian passport there. But here I have one interesting thing to tell you, because I actually already had one ID which helped me to register in some things, and I introduce you to my Georgian driving license. Yes, if you watch my videos for a long time, you remember the drama when I was trying to pass a driving exam in my hometown, but I didn't manage to do it after many, many times, and eventually I gave up and decided that I don't want to drive car at all, and I still have this opinion. So the meme is that I finally got a driving license in Georgia, but for a scooter. It's not a motorcycle, but it is the vehicle that, for example, delivery guys drive. And the thing is that I didn't have to actually drive this vehicle, because you only have to pass a theory exam. I also will show it to you. You see my photo here is different, but it also says my name here in Georgian. I don't know what card I like more, probably both of them, but in terms of the value, I, of course, like the residence permit. So anyway, how I passed this driving exam? That was quite several months ago, and I first had to study the driving rules. They are similar to the rules for the car, but they're even easier. And I remembered all the knowledge that I studied like three years ago in Russia, and went to this Georgian website, and it's so cool that this website is translated to English, Russian, Ossetian language, which is called Iran, Abkhaz language, Azerbaijani, and Armenian languages. And I studied these tickets in Russian, and actually to pass an exam for a driving license, you should go to some other municipality outside of Tbilisi, either Batumi or Gori, or I went to Rustavi, it is a town close to Tbilisi, and there is a big parking lot, and I took a video of this huge Georgian flag waving there, so it was an interesting day. I also passed the medical checks before, passed the exam, and that very day I got this ID, which was quite a bit of flex for me, but now I have even a cooler ID, and I appreciate it so much. I'm really grateful to Georgia for giving me this and overall giving asylum to me, giving the opportunity to open a bank account, to start my business here. If someone told me two years ago that I would find myself in Georgia and get a driving license for a motorbike here, I would not believe it. So that was my story about the driving license, and I will return to the benefits of having the residence permit. As I said, you can register on some online platforms if you don't have a driving license. Secondly, it uh, gives me some more confidence that I will be let into Georgia when I return here from some travels, because unfortunately there are many cases when Russian citizens are not allowed to enter at the customs without even any given reason, and usually it happens to political activists. Recently it happened to a guy who works in an organization that helps Ukrainian refugees, it's called Immigration for Action. It is actually sad that this is happening to such cool people, while some maybe pro-Putin Russians are let into the country. This is interesting. And now I will have less anxiety at the customs because I have a residence permit. I don't know if it gives me 100% guarantee, but anyway. Now I feel that I am a bit less living on birds' rights. This is a Russian phrase. На птичьих правах, on the birds' rights, it means that you basically have no right, that you are vulnerable and you have no guarantees for your safety and freedom. And basically, this is how Russian immigrants feel in other countries, not being able to 
open a bank account with a Russian passport and so on. Another benefit I get is uh, discounts for some services, for example, medical insurance. And actually today I used this permit for the first time as my ID when I got a discount card at the pharmacy. Yes, I could use my Russian passport too, but it was such an amazing moment when I managed to keep the whole conversation in Georgian buying like an SPF cream and then I said that I want to make a discount card. I don't know, just felt like some more flex. At least my name is written in Georgian here. Yeah, I also managed to say my phone number in Georgian. I felt really proud after this. And another benefit, which is so amazing, is that I can apply for a Schengen visa from Georgia. Because there are no diplomatic relationships between Georgia and Russia now, and there are no embassies of Russia here, there is only a thing called section of interest of Russia by the embassy of Switzerland. And if I need to make a Schengen visa to get to Europe, I should go to Russia and apply it from there. And I don't want to go to jail. They say that there is another opportunity to make it through Armenia. But for that, I would also need to go to Armenia and live there for maybe a month or even more because they would take my Russian international passport. Yeah, we have two passports in Russia, the internal one and the international. So they would need to take this international one to Russia and then back to Armenia. And I'm scared. I don't trust that government. And again, it's not guaranteed that I will get this Schengen visa. So I would just go to Armenia in vain. So I save a lot of time, mental health and money by having this opportunity to apply from Georgia. Still, it doesn't give me the guarantee that I will get it from Georgia, but anyway. So maybe I will be able to travel in the future. And I'm very glad that I got this residence permit because uh, I didn't believe actually that I will be approved. And again, so many people congratulated me on that. So I'm among those lucky people who managed to get it. And I've been living in Georgia for one year and a half. And I don't know where I will be living in the future. What I know for sure is that I will not return to Russia. I'm in Georgia. I like it here. I know my favorite cafes. I go to language classes here to different lectures. Actually, today I went to the first cleanup event. I already visited it before and even made a video about that, but it was the first cleanup event this year. And I managed to get some trophies such as the trophies is how we call some interesting things that we got, like some drawing, a playing card, an old phone, a slipper, sudoku. It was good to start the spring and it's already warm. Here in Georgia in March, it's plus 20 something. I also want to make a big Q&A. Please write your comments to the comment section and uh, yeah, ask me anything about my life or Russia. Maybe you're interested in Georgia as well. So anyway, thanks for watching. Like this video, comment, subscribe to my channel. Have a good day. Goodbye. Пока-пока.